Okay, hello everybody. Um, this is, well, you already know who it is, but today I'm excited to bring uh, another video for during this coronavirus shit because I have nothing else to do in my life, even though I really didn't do anything before. But yeah, today I decided to play a game called um, Zero Hour America's Medic. Basically, it's a game where it is described as a virtual experience where a person can be put is put in the shoes of a first responder. This game mostly relating to medics, emergency medical, and fire, mostly around that. And I decided, you know what? I want to try it out. For those of you who don't know, I myself am a, are, am a state and nationally certified emergency medical technician in the United States of America. And um, I'm not going to say what state, but... Um, yeah, so basically I decided to try to tackle this to see if my medical knowledge has survived my nine months of being inactive because I'm not employed. I just got certified nine months ago. And um, let's see if my medical knowledge has stayed with me. And I thought, why not bring you guys on this journey with me? Because, you know, we none of us got shit to do. Like, hell, fucking look outside, fucking coronavirus everywhere and shit. And I did do a little bit of it, like just got into the game to see what what's going on, see how it records, see how I sound, because my fucking mic has this weird ass dueling thing where it picks up fucking PC sound. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get this going. Oh, by the way, basically what you missed, I just made a profile and just chose a character, it's whatever. I'll leave a uh, link down in the description for this game. Welcome to the training facility. Take this radio, and the instructor will lead you through the scenario. Nice, okay. Nice, okay. Hello, Medic 19. I'll be guiding you through this training scenario. I'd first like to get you familiar with looking around your environment. Okay. Hold down your right mouse button and move your mouse in order to look around the world. That's different. Connect the back wall. Move your mouse to look at it now. Guy sounds pissed off. <laughs> what did I do to him? Oh, God damn Good. It. Now move your mouse to look at the O on the front wall. Good. Now let's work on walking around. You can use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around. Pressing the W key will move you forward. Pressing the A key will move you to the left. The D key will move you to the right. And the S key will move you backward. Move through the course by following the arrows that are marked on the floor. I guess they would assume you to do this in this game, but nah. I wish my training center looked like this. God damn. This place clean. I would like to familiarize you with the equipment placed at the table. The object on the far left of the table. Okay, so yeah. I'll explain some of this stuff in my own words after he's done talking. Is a mobile data terminal or MDT for sure. PDA. You can access your MDT by clicking on its picture on your screen or by pressing the 4 key. Hmm. Access your MDT and I'll guide you through its use. Let's press it. Your MDT will allow you to access your site info, your site map, your patient info, and your reference materials. The site map section of your MDT allows for a complete overhead view of the incident area. In an incident command position, you will use the map to establish sectors, allocate available personnel, monitor casualty numbers, and evaluate current weather conditions. We will cover this more in detail at a later time. Move your mouse over to the site info tab and click the left mouse button. Okay. The site info section of your MDT allows you to access an overview of the current incident, the current organization structure of personnel, and a summary of your actions performed during the incident. God damn, HA is going to fucking have a fucking field day Move with me. Move your mouse over to the patient info tab and click the left mouse button. Okay. The patient info section of your MDT allows you to access patient interview answers, patient vital signs, and a list of patient Sample injuries. history, We will cover basic this in vitals, more detail later. Move your mouse over to the three. reference tab and click the left mouse button. The reference material section of your MDT provides you access to reference material that may increase your knowledge regarding a given Wish incident had that type shit or in the situation. Field. You can close your MDT by clicking on the close button at the lower right. Close your MDT and I'll get you familiar with some of your other equipment. 
So basically MDT, our mobile data terminal, is also like our CAD system and the ambulance or the engine, whatever you're on. It, it does exactly what he said. Only thing it didn't have is that it actually has like call information. Or, well, he probably said that. Yeah, basically it's just a walking computer. Like um, we have this big ass computer and the goddamn ambulances and shit. It's a blessing sometimes, but also it can be a fucking curse. The object in the middle of the table is your first in bag. You can access your first we call it a jump bag by clicking on its picture on the side of your screen or by pressing the one key. Access your first in bag and I'll guide you through its use. Your first in bag is designed mm -hmm. to hold the majority of the supplies that a first responder may need at a call. You can select the item you want by clicking on its name with the left mouse button. You can close your first in bag by clicking on the close button at the upper right. Close your first in bag and I'll get you familiar with some of your other equipment. As an EMT, we don't use a lot of this, but we what I can tell you we use we use a lot the the glucometer a lot. We do blood pressure a lot. We don't do IVs or anything like that. We're not paramedics. We do set them up for the paramedic though. Uh suction unit, yep, we use that. Intubation kit, we don't use intubation. We do a skill known as blind intubation. It's it's using a superglottic airway, basically called a uh, king airway. It's basically blind intubation. You, you put it in there. Shut the fuck up. Clicking on the close button at the upper right. God damn it. Close your first in bag. So I'm sick. I'm, with some of your other equipment. I'm not feeling well. We do use airways and oropharyngeal, the nasopharyngeal. Naso goes in the freaking nose. And oral goes down, uh, presses the tongue, all that. We use those a lot. Uh, yeah, we use all a lot of that shit except for. Stuff I'll explain later. The object on the right of the table is a drug box. You can access your drug box by clicking on its picture on your screen or by pressing the 2 key. Yep. Access your drug box and I'll guide you through its use. Your drug box holds the various drugs that you may need to treat a patient. You can select the drug that you want to use by clicking on its name with the left mouse button. You can close your drug box by clicking on the close button at the upper right. Close your drug box, and I'll get you familiar with some of the other equipment. Okay, so as an EMT, we do we do give some drugs. It's a big misconception that EMTs can't do anything. Like We're basic life support. I will tell you exactly what we're able to use. We do use... Um, we use nitro. We use Narcan. Narcan is also known as a naloxone. We are able to give aspirin. Uh, we can give epinephrine, we can give... You can close your drug box by clicking on the close button at the upper right. Close your drug box, and I'll get you familiar with some of the other equipment. We can give activated charcoal, we can give oral glucose, we can give uh, over-the-counter medication, we can help them with their own medication, we can administer inhalers, nebulized medication, and all that. The last object on the table is your portable radio. You can access your radio by clicking on its picture on the screen or by pressing the 5 key. Access your radio We're and I'll guide you in. through its use. Your radio will allow you to contact dispatch and other EMS personnel. You can select the different radio command menus by clicking on the buttons on the left of the panel. We will go into the radio functionality in more detail later. You can close your radio by clicking on the close button. Close your radio and let's continue. The radio? The radio is a really big tool. People, like, fucking use it for granted. That is the biggest fucking tool we have on, on any first responder. The radio is the most important tool and the most used. Because, honestly, that radio is that patient's life. That radio is your life. Like... That radio, the radio is so fucking misunderstood. You can pause the game at any time by clicking on its picture or by pressing the escape key. Within the pause menu, you can change your game settings, restart a roll, and exit to the main menu. Now, make your way toward the door on the left. You can interact with certain objects, such as a door. I didn't mean to do that. I just clicked it. Let's see, can I close it? Nope. I'd like to walk you through the standard procedures for responding to a call. Prior to responding to a call, you will be provided vital information regarding the scene on your MDT screen. 
The MDT screen provides you with an overview of the scene in which you are about to enter. Like any call, review the information carefully. You will need that information to properly select the appropriate personal protective equipment for the call. When you are done reading the dispatch screen, you can press the continue button to proceed. Reading dispatch information is a really big thing us EMTs also do, or any first responder. Like, that's your know, information you need to go into the call. And what he said to take the proper PPE and everything, that's 100% true. This is a mock call for training purposes on a simulated patient report of a 47 year old female with mild chest pain. Medic 19, please respond. Upon arrival at the scene, you must first select the appropriate personal protective equipment. You your should all, you should, the first thing you should do. In the rear of your ambulance, and the selection screen looks like this. You must first select the item that you want to wear from the PPE list on the left of the screen. Move your mouse cursor over the item and press and hold the left mouse button. Then, Obviously, drag the item over to the figure on the right and release the mouse button. If you want to remove a piece of equipment, move your mouse cursor to the remove button for the item and click the left mouse button. You can also remove all of your PPE at once by pressing the remove all button located in the lower right of the screen. After you have selected your PPE, click on the continue button. So, really big thing, you know that there's this joke in the EMS community where the first thing you do as an EMT or paramedic, anything, is BSI scene safety. That's exactly what this is. BSI, body substance isolation. God, I had fucking nightmares, bro. I fucking woke up in the middle of the night yelling BSI scene safety. Because <laughs> that fails you automatically. First, and one thing you always need to have, fucking gloves. God forbid you don't you forget to put on your verbalizer fucking gloves, After bro. you have selected your PPE, click on the continue button. Besides the equipment found in your first in bag I and drug box, if you, forget that shit. you can grab additional equipment from either You're done the back of the your fucking ambulance class. Kick you or the, the fuck MCI out. trailer. To select which additional equipment you want, move your mouse cursor to either the rear door of the ambulance or the door of the MCI trailer. Then, press the left mouse button and select open. Let's pick some additional equipment for this call. Open either the MCI trailer or the ambulance. The additional equipment selection screen works in the same way as the PPE selection screen. Position your mouse cursor over an item and press and hold the left mouse button. Then drag the item over to the additional equipment slot on the right and release the mouse button. If you want to remove a piece of equipment that you selected, move your mouse cursor to the remove button for that item and click the left mouse button. <coughs> You can also remove all of your selected equipment at once by pressing the Remove All button located in the lower right screen. After you have selected your additional equipment, click on the Continue button. Okay, so this is a chest pain call. I'm going to go O2 tank and cardiac. You can access your additional equipment by selecting the additional equipment button on the screen. It has the same functionality as your first in bag and drug box. When you first arrive at a scene, just like on a real call, it's important that you use your radio and notify the dispatch center that you're on scene. That's, like I said, you do that before you do anything. Copy that command, informing responding units. After arriving on the scene, it's important to advise dispatch what incident type you've encountered. Open up your radio. Select the Notify Dispatch of Incident Type tab. Now select Terrorist Attack in the Explosive column, and then click on the Accept button. Copy that command. It's important to remain in your assigned area during play. Your assigned area is typically marked off by tape, traffic cones, or a combination of both. If you leave your assigned area, you will first be warned, but continue to wander from your assignment and you will be forced back and will be penalized. So don't do it. Now it's time to become familiar with treating patients. The person next to me will be your simulated patient for our tutorial. Let's get started. Move closer to your patient. Oh, man. Here I am, right in your fucking face, bro. What else do you want, bro? Fuck pot. 
Before treating the patient, you should first perform a primary assessment of that patient. Mm -hmm. After performing an assessment, you should attempt to ask the sample patient interview questions. To perform a patient interview, click on... Sample stands for sign symptoms, allergy, medications, pass sample. Yes, yeah, prior medical history, pertinent medical history, last oral intake, and events leading up to, to, the, to the incident or whatever the fuck. The patient with your left mouse button and select start interview. When conducting a patient interview, you can select the category of the questions that you want to ask from the left column. The list of questions that you can ask within each category will appear in the right side of the interview box. To ask a question, Does this motherfucker move your mouse shut cursor up? over a question and press the left button. to talk to the people actually watching, the if five people that are going to watch question, it. The patient's answer will appear in the general information section for that patient on the MDT screen. After you have asked all the questions that are appropriate for your patient, it's time to begin treatment. Left click on the patient and select the begin treatment. Once you've selected begin treatment, you wouldn't be able to move away from your patient until you select end treatment. All right. Let's begin. Select begin treatment. <laughs> can you walk to the stretcher, bitch? <laughs> if you're having difficulties viewing the injuries on your patient, you can get a list of their obvious injuries by accessing the injury section for the patient on your MDT. There's There's no need for this part. While you are treating I a patient, you up. must click on a specific region of the body to perform an action to that body part. There's Let's no need for this partner. Let's start off by taking the patient's There's pulse. no need for this partner. <laughs> There's no need for this the partner. Patient's neck and click the left mouse button. Then select Take Pulse, and click the left mouse button again. When taking a patient's pulse, the reading will automatically be displayed on the MDT There's screen. There's no need for this, partner. It will appear in the vital section for that patient on the MDT screen. There's it no need for this, this partner. It appears that this patient needs oxygen. You will need to go back to either the ambulance or the MCI trailer and retrieve the equipment. Not if you All already right, got that shit. Let's apply the oxygen to the patient. In order to do this, you must first select it from the additional equipment bag. After you have selected your O2 equipment, move your mouse cursor to the patient's head and Keep press the left well mouse. Mask. This simulated patient is experiencing <laughs> chest pain. Let's administer an aspirin. Open your drug box and get some aspirin. After you Keep select the, the aspirin, well move your mouse cursor to the patient's head. Press the left mouse button, select administer aspirin, and again press the left mouse button. Your patient is now ready to be transported to the hospital. During mass casualty incidents, you would notify your treatment officer I would that your laugh patient my ass is ready for transport this patient doing that by shit, clicking just... <laughs> on the patient and selecting ready for transport. Since this is a single patient, for this exercise, you would let your partner know that the patient is ready for transport. Select end treatment and then place your mouse cursor on me. Excellent. Now that you have completed your training, let me explain the after action review or AAR. When you finish each scenario, a screen will appear that displays the AAR, which describes your performance and looks a little like this. Nice. This is a 20 minute video by itself, just with a fucking intro. God damn. Should I continue? No, I think I'm going to leave it off here for the first one. So thank you guys for watching. That was like the first level of this game. By the way, what it looks like, it was just training. Well, obviously it's a tutorial. But um, yeah. So t I really didn't say much during this, as like I would normally do. But um, yeah. Let's. I want to do another one. But I, like this is already like a twenty-minute long video, bro. And YouTube doesn't like upload times. I don't like YouTube all the time, sorry. And sorry, my throat's kind of fucked up because I'm kind of a little sick during this corona shit. Everybody's yelling, oh, you got corona. Okay, whatever, fuck. But yeah, this is... You already know who it is. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry I'm not interesting, but you know, I do what I do. Do. Um, yeah. Peace. See you in the next one, guys.